Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're comparing two different, I mean four different Game Boy Advance emulators on Android. We have My Boy Free, My Boy Paid, Pizza Boy Free, and Pizza Boy Paid. I guess you could call this a fatal four-way or possibly a tag match. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about the free version of both emulators. We have My Boy Free versus Pizza Boy Basic. Now, Pizza Boy Basic in terms of ratings is sitting at 4.8 stars out of 5 with 6,492 reviews. My Boy Free, on the other hand, is sitting at 4.3 stars out of 5 with a whopping 570,242 reviews. That is quite a bit. Also, My Boy Free here does contain ads, where Pizza Boy GBA Basic doesn't, and it says so right in the image. For the free version of My Boy, you don't get as many features as you get with the paid version. So with the free version here, you do have ads. Uh, you don't have save to and load from multiple slots. With the free version, you only have one save state slot. And just for comparison with these two points, for Pizza Boy Basic, you don't have ads and you have multiple save state slots. In addition to that with My Boy Free, you can't sync your saves with Google Drive. You don't have fast forward with speeds greater than two times. You can't have multiple lines of code in a single cheat. And this will limit you on the cheat you want to use. Uh, you don't have gyroscope and tilt sensor emulation. Uh, you can't link up as a server with your friend and you can't create multiple screen layout profiles. Now on the flip side here, the free version of Pizza Boy also has a few features that have been stripped back when compared with the paid version. First and foremost, the unquote beautiful GUI is not available in the free version. Interestingly enough, the GUI in the free version of Pizza Boy is very similar to the GUI in both the free and paid versions of My Boy. With the free version of Pizza Boy, you don't get customizable skins. You do get cheats, but they're not baked in. You have to enter them yourself, which is actually the same as My Boy and My Boy Free. You don't have the ability to sync your saves with Google Drive. You don't have quick or autosave. You do have save states though. Uh, you don't have multiplayer, you don't have an enhanced settings menu. This one really isn't a big deal if you don't really like to tinker with things. But if you want to change some things up, this gets a little bit frustrating. Uh, it says here, improved control system, BIOS support. So if you wanted to import your own BIOS, you can't on the free version. Uh, cartridges, hardware, so gyroscope, light sensor, tilt sensor, rumble pack support is not available. You can't rewind and you don't get box arts. So it's pretty safe to say here, both Pizza Boy Basic and My Boy Free have serious sacrifices when compared with their paid counterparts. And flipping back to My Boy Free, there is something I really wanna highlight. It says here in the description, your reported bugs will most likely get fixed very soon. I highly doubt the accuracy of this statement, considering the last time this app was updated was March 16th, 2019 which is basically three years ago at this point. I would argue that this app is not even active anymore. For comparison's sake, the last time Pizza Boy Basic was updated was March 6th, which at the time of filming was a couple of days ago. In terms of emulation accuracy, as far as I know here, My Boy Free and Pizza Boy are close, but the edge does go to Pizza Boy. So with that being said, you are sacrificing a little bit in terms of features with both emulators, but Pizza Boy Basic here doesn't have ads and it is still pretty active. In my book, this is the one to get if you're looking for a free emulator. Next up, we're comparing the paid versions of both emulators. My Boy will cost you $5 USD, and Pizza Boy Pro will also cost you $5 USD. In terms of ratings here, Pizza Boy Pro is sitting at 3.8 stars out of 5, with 3,012 reviews. My Boy is close here, with 4.5 stars out of 5, with a whopping 52,552 reviews, so quite a bit more. Neither of these paid emulators have ads. Now for the record here, I have bought the paid version for both of these emulators and I've had them for a while and I've used them both for quite a while. Interestingly enough here with my boy, this is a common problem and I've had it on multiple devices. Whenever I restart my device, I get this weird access request. It appears to be a bug and it has to deal with the Google Drive and my boy has not fixed it. When you're in game for both of these emulators, they do look considerably different. These are the default settings for both emulators. So at the top here, we've got Pizza Boy and the bottom we have My Boy. Now we can configure Pizza Boy to kind of look like the bottom here. 
And this will be a matter of personal preference, whichever one you like the best. Here are the two emulators up and running side by side. On the left we have My Boy, and on the right we have Pizza Boy Pro. Now as for visual customizations, I would argue that Pizza Boy Pro is a little bit easier and better to use than My Boy. I mean, you can adjust how this thing looks pretty darn easily within the app. You can change the layout here, you can change the color coordination, and you can even import your own custom images. On top of that, if you wanted to use video filters, with Pizza Boy they are baked in. For example, here on Pizza Boy Pro, we have a bunch of GPU shaders and one CPU shader. Whereas with My Boy, the shaders are not included in the app. You actually have to install a separate app altogether called Emulator Shaders in order to get shaders in My Boy. Now for cheats, if you want to use cheats in My Boy, you do have to enter them manually. For Pizza Boy Pro, they are baked in and they do populate depending on the game you're playing. Now in terms of emulator, accuracy as far as I know here the paid versions of my boy and pizza boy don't perform any better compared with their free counterparts in terms of comparing one for one with the tests that have been done it looks like pizza boy is a little bit better now in regards to updates in my opinion this is a really huge thing I mean if you're paying for an emulator you want to make sure it's kept up to date it is optimized for both your device and for Android in general and also possibly just emulation in general. If there are any improvements, you want to make sure they're incorporated into this emulator. As for Pizza Boy Pro, it was last updated on March 7th, which at the time of filming was a couple of days ago. But taking a look at My Boy, and this is My Boy's Achilles heel. It was last updated on May 21st of 2017, which is close to five years ago. I would argue that this emulator is more or less dead. I mean, you can disagree with me here, and maybe calling this emulator out a little bit will get it updated by its developers. But at this point in time, I wouldn't really recommend spending money on an emulator that isn't being actively worked on. So with all of that being said, I would heavily argue here that Pizza Boy Pro is the way to go if you're looking for a paid standalone emulator for GBA on Android. If you're looking for a free standalone emulator on Android, I would recommend Pizza Boy Basic. And as a curveball here, if you're going down the free route, I would highly recommend checking out the MGBA core within RetroArch. It's really accurate and also really great. Anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. Let me know what your thoughts are about My Boy Free versus Pizza Boy Basic and Pizza Boy Pro versus My Boy in the comments below. Which version do you use and which is your favorite? I guess that would be the version you use. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.